Right, so my Roomba quit working. I'm going to take it apart and see if I can fix it. So I took out, this is the debris tray. And then this is the faceplate. And if you look, you have to be really careful so you don't crack it. But um, there's little, see the little knobs? So it actually just pops right off. Um, and then you can see the little connections. I don't know if you can tell that, but see the little knobs that go in. It just pops on and off. So next, I'm going to take off the top. We are going to take this sucker apart. I loosened all these screws that I found, and I'm going to take this plate up and see what is underneath it. So here's the top with the screws, and this, see, that's one piece. So the top is connected to the front side walls. See it? That's all one piece. So you have to, I put a screwdriver right here and kind of jimmied it open. This is one of those things that you could easily break it if you don't know what you're doing. This front panel off um, after the face plate. Turns out you've got to take this front bumper off first because it's blocking the pieces in. So I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna loosen these screws up. Uh, first thing you do is you take all these screws and loosen them up, two at the top, and then one here, and one here behind each wheel, and it lifts straight up. Oh, I, I'm sorry, there is a fourth screw. You have to take the screw off the sweeper function, which is a great time to clean it. So, and it just comes right off. It's real easy. You lift up, and there is the room of battery, and it comes right out. So what I did was I took mine, I went ahead and took the, the panel off, and I took mine and the cord up to the store and changed out the battery while I was standing in the store because they're like 60 to 80 bucks. Batteries Plus sells them in store. It's not the iRobot brand, it's Rayovac, but it fits and it works. I've loosened all the tiny screws on the bottom of the front bumper panel. And now I'm just gonna lift them up. There, there's a little, see the little plate? And take them take off this little plate about all these little screws I got going around so I went ahead and got the magnetic bowl because I don't want to lose them while I'm doing this they're like three bucks at Harbor Freight um, if you catch them on a good sale you can get them for like a dollar and I, I know they have them at de department stores but that keeps you from losing your screws definitely utilizing it with the smaller screws that I get into some of the guts you see the wire this is the front panel I took off um, and I'm taking it off so I can get this panel off. Remember there's that little wire and then you got to make sure that all the screws are completely unscrewed and it just kind of came right up with a little bit of effort. I took the battery out before I did this by the way. Okay so I feel like I'm unveiling Darth Vader here. Dun, dun, dun. Here are the guts of the machine. So why did I do this? Obviously, the machine is already broken. Hold on. Something to hold the weight of that lid so it doesn't put too much stress on those front wires. So the machine quit working, and I'm trying to see if I can find anything obvious inside. Ooh, that comes off too, apparently. It's really easy to take apart. Um, whoa. Okay, so we're going to do this, guys. I feel like I'm doing something wrong, but I'm going to take it apart. Okay, so the reason I'm doing this is I was cleaning the shower, or the cleaning the bathroom, and it dropped from the shower. I saw it go right in there. It landed and go, whoop, it got sucked right in the machine, and it quit working. So I'm hoping if I take it apart, I can either find what happened and dry it, or maybe take it apart and let it dry for a day, and then maybe it'll turn back on. So let's see. I'm not sure what else I'm working with. I don't want to get shocked, so hold on. So I found a lot of little debris in here, which is probably not helping my problem. So I got dun, 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 a clean makeup brush, never been used. Um, I'm sure you can use a little art brush or a little paint brush, whatever you have that's really clean and can get in between there uh, softly to see if I can get everything knocked out. To come off, I've undone the screws. I'm gonna see what it looks like underneath there. I found underneath there is this very thin plastic guard. And since, remember I said I had water fall between the buttons, I'm going to say that's probably the purpose of this plastic guard, is to protect the board from any unwanted water. 
All right. So I'm thinking I'm going to take it off and just clean all the connections. I don't see any water in here at this point in time. So I'm just going to clean all the connections and see if it will turn back on. I have my little clean brush and I have brushed all the components very carefully and lightly to make sure that there's no, no debris. I don't see any moisture on it so that makes me feel better um, that maybe I didn't kill it might have just been it's time to go and I don't see anything visible that I can fix. I'm not great at electronics I just don't see anything standing out with me. If I saw something standing out I'd take it to a store to get repaired but I'm gonna put it back together and see if it does anything. I've put it all back together and I think it's shot. I've had it for three years so I mean, if you think about it, 300 bucks for three years, it's well worth the money.